We are re reading the verse 38 from Milab Kosumanjali. Jai. Jai Kishori. Jai Gurudev. Radhe Radhe. Radhe. Ur Chancha Lakshi. Restless eyed girl. Although Mura Shatru Mohan agitates all the gopis, I make him spin like a disc with the disc shaped hairpins that I place above your ears. Yeah. Oh, Chancha Lakshi. Restless eyed girl. Although Mura Shatru Mohan agitates all the gopis, I make him spin like a disc with the disc shaped hairpins that I place place above your ears. Yeah. Notes. The visions of devotional service and the end of those visions follow each other successively, creating simultaneously an amazing satisfaction and agony. This agony is a deeply relishable bliss. Although Srila does again, again the visions of devotional service and the end of those visions follow each other successively, creating simultaneously an amazing satisfaction and agony. This agony is a deeply relishable bliss. Yeah. One time again, repeat from beginning. I want to explain something. The visions of devotional service. Uh, there is two services. One is the material service, one is the devotional service. So there are two visions. One is the material vision, one is the spiritual vision. A spiritual vision is only can develop by my self-realization. There are two identifications. One is my body identification, and body identification is controlled by ego, false ego. And my spiritual vision is controlled by my soul. So, I am a two person in one body. 
Body is my covering. Body is a covering. I see just now, when the medulla comes, she is living. She was with doctor in ambulance. She was air conditioned ambulance. She was on bed. She was living, breathing. The moment the breathing is stopped, they took out from the ambulance. It takes five minutes. And they keep on the floor. No bed, nothing. That his son said, why you are keeping in the floor? He's my mama. Mm. Then somebody said to him, the doctor said, he said, no, no, mama is gone. Mm. Only the body is left. Then he start crying, my mama, where go? So I can see that the respect of soul is there. We love soul, we recover, but our false ego make us to vision to identify my senses, body and ego. And a voice make high. And I identify and I'm living in this consciousness. So I see this, how we live in the body consciousness and how much we are suffering because of that. It's all suffering because of the material identification. The moment we realize that we are so, my suffering is gone. And when the person goes in the ventilator, means he is, he is, he is helped by medical to survive. Means he cannot even breathe himself. Right? Then I said to Prashant Bhaiya, please bring her. If she wants to die, it's better to take the breath, last breath in Vrindavan. And if she can get it, she will be lucky. And it happens, and she get come here, and three hours she is breathing in, in the front of Radha Mohan and listening Kirtan from the devotee. And then after 2, 25, she left her body. So what I feel, many sadhu, when the time comes for dying, they bring to the hospital to Delhi for dying there. And you see this lady, When she has to die, she will make the circumstances, I want to die in Vrindavan. So this soul is so pure and so nice that she bring her body to die in Vrindavan. So what is the meaning of that? This soul is so pure, she never give trouble to anyone. And she is always conscious with that. And she wants to die in Vrindavan. This is saintly soul. And this is a spiritual vision. I'm giving an example to understand what is material and what is a spiritual. And some are living in material body consciousness with the false ego. Then what happened? We suffer for all small things. What is no meaning? 
and this make my my body fit blood pressure sugar many disease come from that so be careful to develop a speech for reason in life everyone living being has to that i'm so this is like my cloth this time i wear the white cloth before i was wearing the red cloth so is a cloth my body so read a speech for read and this is the speech for listen to see i give you the job the visions of devotional service then vision is clear devotional service will happen and when vision is covered with allusion of false ego material service will happen right understand or not Mm. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Everyone. Okay. Yes. Clean. One is Japanese kisori. One is Europe kisori. Uh, kisori. Right? Ah, uh, yes. Kisori is divine. This is the name of kisori. Rather. Right. Kishori means Kishori Dasi, servant of God, servant of Allah the Nishat. Go on. The visions of devotional service and the end of those visions. It's the end of. and of this if this vision and this method so what we have to practice to not end that vision we have to keep some practice on that my this vision not ends why we do bhajan why do, do service why we do love and care because my vision has to be alive i am always so conscious positive simple what is a positive in any circumstances if my vision is positive i am with in right way and what is positive what give you connection with divine soul and krishna because this is the key this is the key to move on in a spiritual life i don't know other way because religious ways are there but i say about the spiritual way the spiritual way when the river come to the ocean that is the point of the spiritual consciousness all river all religion come to the place is that is the ocean that is the spiritual go on those visions follow each other successively you see what is meaning of that explain <laughs> So 
sex, huh? Successful. Uh, sex. Huh? Those visions follow each other successfully. Sex. Life becomes success. Vibration becomes success. My thinking becomes success. All becomes success. Right? Nandarani. Happy to see you. <laughs> Go on. Creating simultaneously an amazing satisfaction and I'm agony. I'm making satisfaction. I'm making satisfaction. I'm sorry. I'm an older man. I forget. So I can't. <laughs> Amazing satisfaction. You cannot believe the satisfaction, my dear. It's amazing satisfaction. Play it again this way. The visions of devotional service and uh -huh. the end of those visions follow each other successively creating simultaneously an amazing satisfaction and agony. In this case, it means sequence. Yeah, yeah sequence. No. Hey, I come here. Yeah, no, no, no. no. It's just a, it's just the word success. Yes. Sequence. Happy and distressed both become very nice. All giving distress is also good luck. Happiness is also good luck. When I see you, I I'm very nice. And I suffer without you is also very nice. This agony is a deeply relishable bliss. Yes. Before, never I tested that what is the mean beauty of the suffering alone. I never relish because that love, I never relish it. When I would become alone, I really relish because of that suffering. That opened my vision. I now feel the value of that. How much is giving agony, pain in me if I am not feel it with you? Right. No? Although Srila Das Goswami is an eternal maidservant of Sri Radhika, Sri Radhika, he always feels as if he loves her for the first time. So good, sir. That is the root. When, when we are separated and we miss, that love is the first time that more, more relishing. Separation is also relishing and meeting is also relishing. And when we are in the material, Consciousness, we suffer. Separation is also suffering, and meeting is also giving suffering. And when we are in a speech world, it's rising. I realize the love that day 
before me. What is this? I was in some illusion before. Now I understand it. That is a spiritual way of life. Without realization is not our subject. Reading and realization. And when realization time comes in our life, that is the most fortunate time. How to keep the realizations huh? How to keep them? The that sequence. is the point. Keep the realization to be always positive. If you come to negative, then the demons of animal, of my snake, false ego, will bite me and poison will come there. Poisonous snakes are my false ego. No outside problem. Problem is my ego, my faults. This <laughs> is snake. Then Krishna went to the Kadya Dhawan. He, he, he wanted to kill it and they want to bind him, his snakes, that I will. Then Krishna expand himself, then blood coming out and he is going to die. Then the wife of snakes come and they start praying, why want to keep this? This is so desire that we, we, we have a poison. So not kill me, Prabhu, my husband, leave him, it's okay. Then he start dancing on the head of the Kaliya. What is meaning? The dancing of the head of Kaliya is Krishna. Means that my poisonous snake will not bite me when Krishna is dancing on my head. Means my name always going in my head. The inner vibration is always with Krishna. Kaliya cannot bite me. So why the chanting, why the Krishna name, why the po positive thinking, the spiritual life is important? Because this protects us from the bite of this karya, poisonous system. Right? Check. Any moment white might can come. Рады, рады, Махарад. Сори. Надарани, у вас микрофон отключен, нет перевода. Рады, рады. Рады, рады, правильно. Рады, рады. Так, где слово? Шама Сундри, да? Спасибо. Рады, рады. Да, все хорошо. Yeah. Да, все хорошо. Now all is good with the translation. He could not okay. hear the translation, but now it's good. He already knows Russian. Ah, oh, very nice. The Spanish, Russian, English, Hindi, all. <laughs> German, so many, she's rich of so many languages, Estonian. German, very fluent. Wow. Oh, Although wow. Srila Das Goswami is an eternal maidservant of Sri Radhika, he always feels as if he loves her for the first time. Regardless, 
regardless of what condition he is in. First time love wife is always fresh. Love goes on the first time. It's never become old. When love become old, it's no love. Love time. Love is first time. All is fresh and new. That's it. They will never become old. First time meeting means first time love. Even the dasi also every day serving, every day meeting, every day doing absolutely. But in the first time seeing you might be so glad. So love has to be the first time for Adharan. That feeling has to be there. First time love. I never see you. I never feel you. I never understand you. First time I have to do. At it's every yeah. yes, good. Go go on. Yeah. At every moment, the awareness of a lack of direct meeting with the beloved deity awakens in his heart. Yeah. How great is his agony. Yeah. I have fallen on the bank of your lake. Please take me to your lotus feet. Mm. Knowing me to be your fallen maidservant. Oh. Yeah. I'm not qualified. I'm very fallen. I have no qualification, but one thing is there, that you accept me like a master. That is my good agony, good luck. And that makes me alive in this bridge, devotion and service. You accept me. After knowing that I have no qualification, I am useless, but you accept me. If you no know, accept what I am going to happen, that is your mercy, Radhike, that you accept me. And your acceptance is I'm living in that pride that you accept me after no qualification that you are my dasi. That is only hope in my life. The new of five devotees must learn this eager devotional longing from him. Oh, I'm being wrong. This is not my job. This is not a Maharaj organized something to translate. 
today I explain this. No, he will. It inspired me after a long time. I share something. Now you share what you want to share. This is your your class. Sorry, excuse for mistakes. You do on. Go on. No, Guru. Yeah, please I continue. Want to... We we are missing your words, Guru. Please please continue. Achha, please, okay, Kishori, give my... continue. The, my Kishori is there, all you are there after a long time to me. I was so much missing. So give me a chance to <laughs> No problem. Yeah. The life of a devotee is naturally full of thoughts of the beloved deity. Yeah, and full of thoughts with the beloved duty. Other thoughts, how can come? If other thoughts are coming, then I have no love and I have no beloved duty. Uh, I need it is done. Careful, my dear. No thoughts can come. And no give the chance to come. That will catch you to bring material work. Be careful. Sadhu sadha. If you are sadhu, you want to be spiritual, careful. Thoughts, only your thoughts. Only your thinking has to be there. Other thinking, how entering inside me? The life of a devotee is naturally full of thoughts. Natural, natural is not unnatural. Natural means natural. Other thing is unnatural. Devotion is natural. It's the nature of the soul. And because of that, I am full of that thoughts, natural thoughts. Not unnatural thought, purity. Not in suffering. Yeah. Yeah. The life of a devotee is naturally full of thoughts of the beloved deity and nothing else. Nothing. Yeah. 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 His mind wants nothing and nobody else. Yeah. Such intimacy with Sri Radharani cannot be attained while being engrossed in the mundane kingdom. Yeah, oh, wow, very good. What is the mundane kingdom? <laughs> Suffering kingdom. <laughs> if you have no experience, one day experience, you can enjoy that. Enjoying suffering is also enjoying things. <coughs> mundane kingdom, suffering also you can enjoy it. And throw it out. <coughs> Garbage is a mundane kingdom. We are not interested in this kingdom. And why it is coming sometime in our life, mundane kingdom to enjoy that suffers and satisfied, not to come again here. 
if you come more to suffer, more to suffer, and if not, then more shocking suffering. This is the mundane kingdom. And if you not understand that, one day soul will go out from the body and only flesh will be there. This mundane kingdom has to go in ashes or in the fire. A person like me has left all his kith and kin far behind to go to Braja, where his mind became absorbed in thinking of temporary things. Wow. I am living in Vrindavan, where the birds are singing Sri Radhika's glories, where the trees and vines shudder out of love for Sri Radhika, mm. and where each speck of dust is sprinkled with the Mahabhav that emanates from Sri Radhika's foot soles. Wow. Where is that realization? Hmm. Sensitive devotees experience the real form of Raja. But fellows devoid of devotion see it as just an ordinary mundane place. You see, kingdom of our past body. Mundane kingdom. Then <laughs> kingdom is alive with my false ego. All things vision is changed. So what they do when you go to the Santali people, Rasika people, they check you which place you are living. Which place and which area you are living, uh, which senses you are living, all the check, and then they check how uh, he is in sarupa avesh, soul avesh, a body avesh. So what he will ask question from me from that place. So they understand by looking to them and they answer immediately and they no relate if they have no desire to be in the soul of it, they are not interested, no interested. They are not want to involve because even the Suddenly, people, they will bring to the mundane kingdom because they will talk about mundane kingdom. They are praying, oh, how quick I can be free from this circumstance. They are not interested because they are wasting time with the mundane kingdom, because it is totally influenced with that, you know? Be careful 
Be careful, my dear. Very crystal clear. This is the beauty of writing of Anandas Bhavaji. You can judge. I will judge myself and what I want to do. I can do it. Therefore, the aspirants should give up their material conditionings and bring in their transcendental conceptions. What? Again, repeat. Therefore, the aspirants should give up their material conditionings and bring in their transcendental conceptions. No clear voice. His speaker changes. Or the no, no, speaker. Not, 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 huh? not our internet. That's right. What is this? Can you, Can you say hear? The word? Therefore, no, it's the internet. Rade, rade. Mm, yeah, now. Yeah, good. Therefore, On. the aspirants, yeah, the aspirants mm. should give up their material conditionings mm. and bring in their transcendental conceptions. Wow, very nice. That is how I want to listen many times. Mm -hmm. My God. <laughs> Again, one more time. Therefore, the aspirants should give up their material conditionings and bring in their transcendental conceptions. Yeah. So good. This is very, when it, uh, this comes transcendental, it uh, internet become not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because we are not ready to accept the uh. <laughs> truth. <laughs> 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 and then I'm very sick. What to do? Oh. No. The soul drives on prema rasa and must relish prema rasa prema rasa 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 raso vaisa krishna and prema is radha mm -hmm. Prem, when he is not there, rasa will never come. He is a mundane with circumstances. The moment I lose the prema, rasa is gone. Hmm. Senses cannot give the rasa. Rasa is Krishna. Raso Vaisaha. That says, Sons does not give the Prema. Prema is coming from Radha. 
in my life also I try to find prema in the senses of many places is bogus it's not never happened like this is a said that is a kaka and pipi i is but modern morning love as you huh i can you rain this are the senses of the i can you rain shit what is the what is the shit down <laughs> yeah morning time what the class was the huh Well, no morning yeah, yesterday and yeah, um, uh, yesterday a uh, japanese class mana shiksha verse 6 verse 6 6 verse 6 if you lose this spiritual thing you come to the ash and you are kaka and be ash you are ash 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 Ashes, God has got kind of shit. Mind become mad. Who took the burden and carry the load of all that ashes? These senses make you ash, and you go for the urine and kaka. This is the circumstance. why become burden the children one by one your load will be higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and go on but when you are a spiritual person krishna took that burden sir this is the krishna's family when krishna is in front that's a krishna consciousness when the plastic body and senses in front is a material front that i listen 100 time but that moment i understand to realize it that is the right moment for me hmm. listening is no value when realization is not coming on the time i listen but never realize but the moment i realize my life changes when this moment will come that is radha rani can give us yesterday oh yesterday yesterday Jananda se sar dharman pratje ma me kam charnam baja. Then he said that Radha Rani ekam mane Radha sadhu maras se. Okay, but Krishna say I took all your burden. He at this line I never realized this. He said he took all the burden. When you go, mom, a come sure now. If you go to the center, take the center of Radhika. The moment you take the center of Radhika, Krishna took your burden. And if you want to hold that, that he leave it. You have to believe it. that he is responsible i am radha dasi he is responsible to you but who mm. is responsible to you that is believe then our life is a smiling life there is no burden why burden Hmm. There is no more. Why? The soul 
thrives you on print. So, I hundred percent. I am asking to the listener: How many persons? How many time you listen this? Hmm. One thousand. Mm -hmm. And you realize it, and you are living. No. You start living in this. No. If you're not living, then you will not listen. The day you will restart living in this, you listen. That is what is a fortunate moment. Huh? What was incredible? Yeah. What uh, Kishori? Astonishment. Mm. astonishment. That astonishment has to come. And Honey the wine. Moment. Huh? Honey so wine. Many time I said to me, huh? Amazing. Yeah, astonishment. The moment you realize is astonishment. Amazing satisfaction. Amazing satisfaction. Really satisfaction. The moment you realize that I'm a soul and you start living in that, you see amazing satisfaction. And that is Jaiva Dharma. And that, that is, is honey, honey wine. <laughs> honey wine. That is the honey wine. <laughs> Soul is divine. Soul is divine. Soul is divine. But Sarup is divine. Yes. Uh, you see, it's so nice, Harikatana, that you. I say soul is divine. No, you know, soul is divine. But Sarup will beg you to divine. You like to see that divine. Ani. And why? Why you bother suffering? You drunk, you never go down. Honey, why? You drunk and never come down. Whole life when up you drunk honey, why? It will you will never down. Wine can make you four, six hours on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe ten hours of divine can keep you on, you know, in soul. But honey wine, if you drink, keep your lips there whole lifetime. Stay high forever, never come down. Never high. It will hold whole life. Yeah. The soul thrives on prema rasa you see? and must relish that. Yes, my dear. Staki shori kija. And attain the honey sweet association of the divine I, couple. Yes, he has you. <laughs> Only <laughs> while looking, it will not go down. Only watching here. Yeah. Will make you all the time drunk. They don't know. <laughs> Innocent people, conditioned school, they are so much ignorant, they are very satisfied with wine. I am praying. So much stuff. Only they want to forget something. We also want to forget something, but we're not interested in this wine. Divine or honey wine. 
Ya. Yeah. Right. Ya. Yeah. Shri Dasa Goswami sits on the bank of Sri Radha Kund and weeps for want of the direct personal service of Sri Mati Radhika. But. To whom he has offered his whole mind and heart. You see how much we offer up. <laughs> what mind I give and what I heart give, give to the mundane world. And I give my dear yeah, mind and heart. You, my son, you are my boss, you are everything. Why I am mistake myself giving useless place? My heart, heart and mind is all yours. Atmani Vedan, Pujan Sakhigan, Atmani Vedan, Prabhupada song, see. Atmani with a mind and heart giving to <coughs> Atmani Veda. The Goswamis have taught, by example, mm. that if the mind wanders off elsewhere, Swamini is running off. Yeah. Yeah. Other place than Samri Nuda. You want to miss your Samri. And if you miss, you will suffer. That is sure. Because Samri is a giver of feelings and love. And without feeling and love, there is no spirituality. Then you will become religious, religious person. Give and take. Decide. Give your mind and soul, heart to her. See the small baby, they give their mind and heart to the mama. Totally sad. Like a child. Child is a very, very good example for children. They are the teacher of us. For my children, for they come, they have all entry free, my bed, every place, because they are my teacher. They teach. They taught this ignorance, love, totally simple heart. Kindness, all they teach. I need their vibration. I have many lollipop and toffee. Only that I can catch them, they can come here. And I want to feel that vibration. To be, how to become like a child? I will say, when I was a child, I see face to face to you. I grown up and I make covering in between me and you. What is grown up? 
with the ignorance I grown up. My foolishness I grown up. Right? I not grown up with the reality and truth. Time is gone. Go on. Why won't I become absorbed in you? Why can I not because of my life? Because of your love, I want to absorb on you. Because my feeling is becoming more intense. And I am observing. When I am listening about your glorification, I am observing slowly, slowly for you. And why we need the association like all of you, Rasika? Because you inspired me to be here for the Raj Swami. All of your help. It's a Rasika association. Understand? If you not come to listen, how I will get this chance to develop myself? Gaurasundara, Gauranga Sundara, why not you say something? I don't want to say anything, Guru. My God, you become angry to me? No. <laughs> no. I'm just drowning in your words, Radha Radha. Why can I not make my life a full success? Wow. Thank you, <laughs> my Kishori. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you saying this? <laughs> yeah. I'm proud of you. I read this, Gurudev. <laughs> we are reading from ourselves. Oh. Go on. I will purify my muddy mind oh. with this Mahavani. Jai Rad. What is mean, muddy? <laughs> I listen to muddy means when you put, go there, to take other, they will also pull you there. And you want to come out, you go more in there. This is the muddy. We want to go come out, but we go more in. We want to come out, we go more in. We want to come out, we go more in. Without of other help, this muddy place, you cannot come out. Somebody will throw you the rope. If you jump there, he will also go there. He will not come out. He can throw the rope, not in going in mud, and he can pull you out. Because mud nature, you want to go out, it brings you in. This is muddy. This is muddy mind. Thank you, Gurudev, for throwing us the rope. Yes. When the rope I catch and I try to come out, little I come out, then somebody will pull up. And we can come out from that.
that is our body circumstance. Yeah. A person, yeah. a person who thinks like that, is a bhakta vira, devotee wow. hero. <coughs> yeah. Oh. So decide today and become a hero, my dear. Listen, be a hero. Decide, bhakta hero, bhakta hero, bhakta vira, bhakta vira. <coughs> yeah. This is a makes you with a power. Sri Raghunath's life airs reach his throat. Uh -huh. When he suffers the pain of love in separation. Yeah. Just then, he gets With a vision. One thing, there is no separation. If you not had a meeting, if you have no love, you never feel separation. And when you have a feeling and love, you feel burning separation. And who no realize the separation, he don't know the value of the love. Separation make you more strong in love. That is the beauty. Separation. That we are. Separation makes you strong, your love. Real premi, real lover can understand only. Who not understand the value of love, they will not test it. That's a rasika bhakta. Who know the value of the love and meetings. And then they feel separation. Then they know the value of that love. What is in the time of separation they feel. Thank you. Go on. Sri Raghunath's life airs reach his throat when he suffers the pain of love in separation. Well. Just then, he gets a vision. He is no longer Raghunath. Now, he is Tulasi Manjari. Yeah, that is Sarupa. Without separation, your Manjari Sarup will not have it. And when the separation comes in life, it means time of sarup is coming to you. You are a luckiest person. Most, most fortunate that you feel that separation. How ah, Radhika is feeling for Krishna. Without practical realization, you not experience that separation. And without realization, you not understand value of that word, then it becomes philosophy. It's a booky knowledge, not practical experience. Applied science. Applied science. Applied science, no? Practical. Practical. 
European world, many places applied science not. Gopinath always. One is normal debris degree and one is applied science. Right? Now he is to Lassi Mantri. Yeah. Swamini, I have put these hoop earrings above your ears. How wonderful is the slight smile that appears on Swamini's face, then. <laughs> when the spotted moon in the sky sees Radhika's spotless face scented with the rasa of laughter, he must cry. <clears throat> Tulasi serves without hesitation, and Swamini also accepts her service without yeah. hesitation. See that. Is this only a mental concoction? She accepts all service rendered within the mind. You see? And mind becomes working different department. Our mind can work like this. Uh -huh. is a mental service, Manchi Seva. And when he's not fit, how he can go there? Only thing is the teaching of Raghunadu Goswami Manasiksha, teaching to the mind. We have to teach our mind, yes. He is the best friend. He is non cooperating to us. How he may become really friend, and you behave like a friend to the mind. False ego is controlling, is not friend. So fight is there because in sense of false ego, mind is living there. And when he will become your friend, false ego cannot disturb that. And this mind's mind, mind has to be very peaceful and free. And we become so busy, we keep the busy to the my body to identify my material body and to use my mind so much that we only want to engage in material thing, mind and my material body and my senses because this is influence of false ego. Mind has to be totally free, and body has to be used in the service. Devotion, service means 
One is selfless service, one is pet service. We do the job, is a pet service. No problem. But if you give the body relaxation, free rest, then they will do only sense identification job. And if you busy it is body to earn money through the office, no problem. And you can do with this more higher selfless service. But always use your body in the service. And mind has to be peaceful. If you go to the mind, then what they suggest to you, head has to be cool. When the head becomes hot, you say. And the stomach has to be warm and soft. Why? Because this is the Baishya. If it's hard, rough, they will not get the food. It should be soft and warm to digest it. And feet has to be warm. If the feet is cold, that person. Only the coolness is deep on the head. It should be peaceful and cool. <laughs> if you want to make warm to the head, all kaput. <laughs> All finished. <laughs> Shri Dasa Goswami personally relished the sweet rasa of devotional service. Yeah. And taught in Mana Shiksha. You see, I say Namah. <laughs> Read the Mana Shiksha and see that I follow that way. If you follow all that, This, all Japanese are very clever. And Guru is brilliant, intelligent. You know, Nanda Jananda, because Narayan Maharaj is a Prabhupada, he see all the faces and he is cream, he is taking the cream from that and he wants to give it to these babies, Japanese baby, who don't know what is the food to eat. Everything is the fish. Everything is vegetarian, non-vegetarian. No meaning for them. So innocent. And they, are, they are start understanding the value of Kirtan. They understanding value of life. They understand the bhajan value. They never leave the japa. See the beauty and the power of Jananda. How much he has a mercy inside that he gives and the life is changing. And you see, my foolish, I give so many people and nobody can can I realize it? So who is more mercy, mercy and powerful? My Jananda. Because he changed and I realized, educated and all knowledge, full knowledge, all qualification, they don't want to change. And he changed everyone's life. You come and see them. I surprised, my dear. 
I think that my bhajan is someplace missing and he is more elevated. Because this is helping to the Japanese. You know? He's changing, you see? Many are changing. Many has a some bad qualities, difficulties, many things. I was, you see one Japanese girl, she is, she is, come near. She, she is, I, I gave her three years before Mangala Arati. You see, how many times, three times he gave that to her. <laughs> Talk, talk, ask question to them. Radhe Radhe Didi. Radhe Radhe. Hello, boss. Hari Radhe. Yes, yes. Natural. Hola. Sayunara. Natural six times, Dandova. You can see that? How ego can stay there? So, hmm. It's not unnatural. It was, with, I don't say anything. Six times. The life of a devotee is naturally full of Na thoughts of the beloved deity. Yes. And full of thoughts. So there is no chance to other thoughts to come in. How could other thoughts are coming? Then there is some, 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 something <laughs> is there. So other thoughts are coming. Right? One more thing I say. I went first time to Japan in 16. And I said, Jananda, which time is the class time? I said, one and a half hour, European classes, right? He said, well, we start class from 8 to 12. And we have a one hour lunch. Mm -hmm. And you rest one hour. And one thirty again class, as to the start, up to 5. I said, what? <laughs> What? Eight hours only every day? I have no practice to do so long. He said, this is the <laughs> first program goes like this, eight hours. And they are, they are not only listening, they have all copy, pencil, color, pen and paper and everything. They are serious. Eight hours with all computers, you know, pen, pencil, everything, and the uh, speak uh, tape recording, everything ready. Japan technology, modern. And I said, Jananda, it's not my practice to do that so long. I, one hour, two hour, I can do it. He said, no problem, I will manage it. Like this. But slowly, slowly, I learned from Japanese. Totally, when they want to learn, they are serious to me. Not halfway full, done. 
they want to know the know go on sorry she they does not give a... time they no give time for other subjects when they want to learn this that i want to say yeah no other thoughts in the mind no other thoughts no other thought that way she does a goswami personally relished the sweet rasa of devotional service yeah and taught in mana shiksha elaborately serve radha and krishna in braja yeah serve the hearts friend of shri radha within the mind he will accept yeah. it all why in mind within in mind because when your sarup is not there you will practice in mind because sadhak deha is pursha vima mel body plastic body is my mel body only my spiritual body is my soul body gifted by radha rani that is it sir what is it which body mentally conceived ah. say na yaar you sitting so far you are mentally conceived spiritual body mentally conceived and thinking on and on for that that we can solve so we have ha huh? if we compare it to cooking milk and we want to make here so we cook 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 and it becomes condensed that that's the way to think 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 uh -huh. and you think other thing than how it will cook here we have to give time here to cook huh it's which you are meant to conceive its spiritual body to Right. If we want the kheer, we want the sweet life. And uh, Nandarani, <laughs> yes, make a yes or not. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> You see, innocent. They don't bother what is happening. This is innocent. Yeah, go. No. This mental service is the very life force of the externally rendered. devotional service yeah. Shila Rupa Goswami has proven from the Padma Purana that one who always serves Lord Hari mentally has direct association with he who is otherwise not perceived with material words and mind
In his commentary on this verse, Srila Chiva Goswami quotes the story from the Brahma Vaivarta Purana about the Brahmana from Pratishtana Pura who mentally offered hot kshira, sweet rice, to the Lord, but burned his physical finger by touching it. The condensed form of smarana is dhyana, meditation. And the condensed form of meditation is spurana, transcendental visions. Wow. Underlined it and sent to everyone to meditate it. What do you think that transcendental reason comes to? Srila Raghunath Das Goswami was a living example of that. It is mentioned in Bhakti Ratnakara that he became sick one day. So Vitalnath, the son of Vallabhacharya, called for a doctor who said that Raghunath Das was suffering from indigestion. He never <laughs> Vitalnath, who knew that Raghunath Das was renunciation personified and that he hardly ate anything at all, refused to believe that, but the doctor insisted. Raghunath Das then confirmed the doctor's <coughs> diagnosis, saying, It is true. I had mentally ordered Hira, sweet rice, to Radha and Krishna, and I mentally ate too much of the remnants of their enjoyed food. This is one of several occasions in which the mental contact with God becomes physically manifest. That to understand, that day I will understand all things will be in Are you, any body what is there? Rituals and this and that externally, physically, is all, all mental services. Bhajan and new service. In a way like Yes, ten minutes more. In a vivid vision, Tulsi places hoop earrings above Srimati's ears. Srimati is still absorbed 
in the placing of the jewel string on her left arm. Her body consists of palm and it is as if she searches for someone with her restless eyes. Tulasi attracts her mind by saying, O oh, Chancha Lakshi, restless eyed girl, hey Shamachu, your eyes restlessly go here and there, mistaking every object to be Mohan. Hence, I call you Chancha Lakshi, or Restless Eyed Girl. Why restlessness? Where is my shot? Where is my shot? It's restless to see you. One point. <coughs> Our eyes is restless for material suffering, and we suffer that. Press when the eyes will fix for the Krishna, never suffering that. Time. And when the eye, my eyes is fixed in searching to the material. <coughs> Pain and pain and pain is there. Like somebody is burning you. Fire, like that. I feel it, I feel it, I feel right. Go on. Swamini says, Tulasi, for whose sake have you ornamented me? Tulasi replies. Mm. <laughs> One point, uh, you are Krishna without truth, without Go on. I will make Mura Shati, <coughs> who ag agitates all the gopis with his matchless all attractive beauty and sweetness spin around you like a disc. Yeah, it spin uh, like you make the spin, the children make it spin. I will make you to spin around you. <laughs> I will do this. To see Manjirisa, I will make you that it spin around you. So I ornament you. When he this cannot, is my dear, you are. huh? When he we cannot, we are creating the ornamenting, ornamenting to Radha that he is been around you. I decorate like beautiful so nicely that your Mura Krishna. He will spin around you. When he cannot find his beloved anywhere, he will come to you spinning and spinning. That Mohan, who is very anxious to meet Radharani, is very dear to the Manjaris. That is Matri. Uh, this is the greatness of Matri. Uh, 
and this is the gift of Chaitanya, and that is Rupanuga. There is one class, well, in say that about that. There is uh, on uh, coming Wednesday, uh, I think it's the 17th, uh, Jagatam Mataji is, uh, has invited uh, Gurudev to speak about uh, Rupa Goswami. There is, uh, I think, a three days conference organized by disciples of uh, Sri Narayan Maharaj Goswami. There will be like over three days, 40 speakers and also uh, Gurudev will uh, speak uh, at 5.30 Indian time. So we will put the link and the exact timings on, the, on Radha Dasyam. We will post it there. Yes? It's a short time, right? Um, yeah. Well, short but sweet. But <laughs> <laughs> Western world only can listen 45 minutes. Yeah. More capacity. Yeah, go on, complete it. Very short left. The Kinkaris are very proud of the sweet form of their mistress. <laughs> and they say, I will bring Murasha through here. Spinning yeah. like a disc by attracting him with these disc shaped hoop earrings. My God. You see? Mandari. To whom? To Krishna. But you start with Supreme Personality of God. This Manjari said this. I can spin. spin. Near. He will dance around you and want to attract you. So I decorate you to be like that. That he come and spin like here. Yes. Complete it. Only a few lines. In Purvaraga, Aduti <coughs> describes Shama Sundara's condition to Srimati when he anxiously searches for her. Oh, Radhe, when Krishna sees the golden garland of champaka flowers that Subal gives him, his mind trembles and tears of passionate love flow from his eyes. Oh, beautiful, fortunate girl, your form always awakens great love in his heart. Yeah. Day and night he murmurs, Rishabhanu Nandini, without saying anything else. Although hundreds of thousands of fortunate girls speak sweet words to him, he does not listen to them even in dreams. He can only pronounce the first syllable of your name, Ra. 
but out of ecstasy, he cannot pronounce the other one. Ta. His eyes carry streams of tears. That jewel of men rolls on the ground. <coughs> Who can describe his distress? Ah, this is also one distress. <laughs> Supreme Personality of God is in distress. <coughs> Govinda Das submits this news about Kanu, Mohan, to your lotus feet. Know that he feels miserable and that only your grace can destroy his suffering. Yeah. Only you can help. Understand? Yeah. Tulsi says, although it is just an insignificant ornament, it will still cause Krishna to spin around after yeah. I put it on you. Understand, Kishori? <laughs> that was my intention. Yeah. That I wanted was my <laughs> of the service of Kishori. Oh, Radhika, sorry. <laughs> I wanted to agitate him and make him spin around like this, searching and searching for you until he meets you. Yeah. Mohan is very dear to the Manjaris when he becomes anxious to meet Sri Radhika. Yeah. <laughs> The heart of the Ginkari is filled with pride when she sees the sweet form of her mistress and she says, These disc-like earrings will make Murashatru spin like a disc and bring him to you. Yeah. How many hundreds of experiences of Mohan Tulasi gives to Swamini in this way? The word Mayaka in the text is a sign of humility. I am not qualified to serve you, but you are all merciful. <coughs> <laughs> and you have accepted this sevaka, maidservant. Although you are anxious to meet Shama, I have not been able to bring him here. Yeah. How unfortunate I am. Yeah. Despite all this, you are full of love, Prema Mai. Uh -huh. And I have placed these disc shaped hairpins above your ears to pull Shama towards you, spinning mm. and spinning. Yeah. I will agitate even Mura Shatru, who can agitate all the gopis. You see, all the creation, the beauty of my song. 
how it's been like. It's been like what? Like a huh? disc. This. Yeah. Near to my son. Mm. We are so lucky. 